Hey there, welcome to Tim Talks Cooking. I'm Tim, and today I'm going to make roasted cauliflower. And I'm going to show you how to serve it up two really delicious ways. One way you can serve as a main course, or you could actually share it with someone as an appetizer or something, is as a cauliflower steak that is really kind of amazing. I don't think you've ever had cauliflower that tastes this good. I'm going to serve that up with a cream and herb sauce. And the other way is going to be as, get this, buffalo cauliflower wings, and kind of a traditional American appetizer. I'm going to show you how to make that, as well as a buffalo sauce and everything that goes with it. Let's get started. Once you've washed and dried your cauliflower, you're ready to prepare it for the recipe. I'm going to turn this over here and show you how I remove the core and the leaves from the bottom of it. I'm just going to slice around like this, not too deep. We want it to retain its structure. There we go. It looks like that. And use your paring knife as well to remove any brown or black marks that are on the surface of the cauliflower. We want it to look nice. Now to make nice slices, we're going to cut the cauliflower in half right down the middle like that and then make slices that are about an inch wide. I'm using a serrated knife here which makes it easier and which it makes it more likely that our pieces will come out intact like this one. That's pretty cool right? Next I'm going to take the rest of the cauliflower and divide it up into flowerettes that are more or less bite size. Ones like this I'm going to just cut in half Preheat your oven to 450 degrees, that's 230 degrees Celsius, and grease it with some olive oil. I used a brush to do that. And next you're going to take the steaks, and you want to brush them as well with olive oil. I'm just going to give them a little squirt here, brush that all over it. And just like you would just about anything you're going to roast in the oven, I'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper on each side. Now I've got the steaks prepared. Let's focus on our buffalo wings. Here I've got my cauliflower flowerets in the bowl. Notice that I, I've got larger pieces here, not these little crumbs that you'll have falling off of the head of cauliflower as you work with it. Reserve those for some other dish, for cauliflower rice or whatever. Get the bigger pieces in the bowl. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You use whatever oil you like, of course. Give it a good toss. I want to coat the piece as well. And next I'm going to season them with some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper as I pretty much always do. Now here you can see we've got our steaks on the one side and over here we've got our cauliflower flowerettes. That's our buffalo wings and they're all ready to go in the oven 450 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. While we're waiting let's make our sauces. I'm going to start with the buffalo sauce. Here I've got equal amounts of unsalted butter and Tabasco sauce. Here I've got four tablespoons of each there. That's a quarter of a cup. And I'm just going to melt the butter in the microwave for about 30 seconds. You can, of course, do this on the stovetop if you prefer. Once you've melted the butter, just give it a stir and we can set this aside to cool. That's all there is to it. Next, let's prepare the blue cheese sauce for the cauliflower wings. I'm going to start off here with a half a cup of sour cream. You could use creme fraiche if you like as well. To that, I'm going to add an equal amount of mayonnaise. That's a half a cup or 100 to 125 milliliters of mayonnaise. Use commercially produced if you like. Just make sure it doesn't have any carbohydrates. Next, I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And then, of course, some freshly ground black pepper, some salt. I'm using kosher salt. And, of course, some blue cheese crumbles. Add as many in as you like. I say more rather than less, but here we go. Now we're going to mix that in. Obviously, do this to your own taste. For the steaks, we're going to prepare the cream and herb sauce. Here I'm going to put a cup or about 250 milliliters of heavy whipping cream into a saucepan and add to that four tablespoons or so of Parmesan cheese. Here I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano. You can use a little bit more, a little bit less as you will. I'm going to add just a little bit more in there and there we go. Now we're going to move over to the stovetop. 
over a fairly low heat. As you can see here, I'm going to heat up the cream and melt the cheese into it fairly slowly. I want to bring the cream to a simmer and allow it to reduce and thicken. Of course, the melting cheese is going to help with that. If it comes to a boil, turn the heat down. When the sauce is reduced by about 50%, turn off the heat and remove it from the stove. Next, we're going to add in some flavorings. Here I've got some fresh herbs. I've got some thyme leaves that I'm going to add. Just pull them right off the stem just like that. I'm going to add another couple of those stems. And next I'm going to add in some chives. I like to use a scissors to just snip them right on in there like that. After 20 minutes, here's what they look like. And when we turn them over, as you'll see, we've got some nice color going on there. I'm going to go ahead and turn these over like that. And we're also going to turn the steaks carefully, mind you. But here we go. Let's see if we can do it without breaking it. There we go. Voila. Careful with the heat. But look at that. It's very nicely golden brown on that side. These are going back in the oven for at least another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, here's what they look like. Let me turn a couple of these over to show you how beautifully they've gotten caramelized here. Yeah, looking really good, right? That's going to taste so great. We're going to turn the steaks over one more time. These are going to go back in the oven. Look at how great that looks. Yeah, look at that. Right now, the wings we're going to remove to a bowl because we need to coat them with that Tabasco butter sauce and here we are I'm just going to pour about half of it over them at first just like that and give it a nice toss you of course can use a spatula as well just like this here I'm going to pour the rest of it in there there we go and give it another toss with the spatula and here I'm going to put them right back on the foil line baking sheet and these are all going back in the oven for another 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, look at these. They're gorgeous. They're ready to plate up. To serve the steaks, start by placing a spoonful of your sauce in the middle of a plate. Set your steak right on top of that. Add just a few spots of sauce on the plate just to give it a little interest. For the wings, I like to start with some of the blue cheese dressing on the plate. Then add a serving of the cauliflower nearby, if not right on top. That looks really good. How about a stem of celery with that and let's just add a few blue cheese crumbles on top well all right let's give it a try start with the steak and the steak really looks so delicious it's got that beautiful golden brown crust on the outside and we've got this lovely sauce mm. It really does not disappoint. Let me tell you what, the cauliflower is nice and soft on the inside, but not too cooked. It still has just a little bit of texture. Mm, I just love it. The sauce with those herbs and the Parmesan cheese, so delicious. I think you're going to love that. Let's give the buffalo wings a little try here. A piece with some sauce, a little cheese there. Mmm. Mmm, very nice. Of course, you've got that tangy Tabasco sauce in combination, of course, with this blue cheese dressing. Really delicious. It's a flavor combination that here in the United States we really, really love. Anyway, I hope you're going to try this recipe, both of these recipes. I also hope that you will like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and it helps you find my videos, especially if you click on that notification bell. Thanks for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking. We'll catch you next time.